Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this little leopard makeup look that can be easily used for a Halloween makeup look for like a party or something or just for fun. So let's go ahead and jump in. I am starting off by prepping my skin with the Bobbi Brown Face Base. I am going to include how I do my brows here. So I do use the pear soap to really brush them up with the spoolie, kind of just make them a little bit fluffier and give them a little bit more texture. Then I'm going to go in and prep my lid with the P. Louise base and I like to use this to carve out my brow and to prep my eyelid for eyeshadow. And I will be taking this mini sponge. This is by Real Techniques. They're the mini ones. It comes in a set of four. I really like them. Go ahead and pat that down. I am taking the Norvina palette and this brown shade. And here I forgot I was recording so I was facing my mirror but I am basically just packing on this this color into the crease and a little bit towards the middle. I am going to just be using this and one other shade. So as you can see, I kind of pack it in the crease and then I go ahead and blend out the edges. It does take a little bit of time, whether you're building up one color and diffusing the edges or adding multiple colors. So I didn't go ahead and speed it up so you can see. Then back with the sponge, I'm just tapping out any creasing that we may have had. I'm going to go ahead and set it with this color from the Norvina shade. And that is what it's looking like. Then with any additional product I may have had on the brush, I go ahead and tap out those edges. Then taking the Alyssa Edwards Back Rolls shadow i'm just going to go ahead and deepen the crease a tad for brows i do like to use the precisely my brow pencil by benefit i have been loving it and honestly i was never a pencil person really maybe at first but anyways i really really like this pencil i do use the shade 4.5 i go ahead and use the other side of this which is the spoolie and really brush that product up for the tail i kind of just guide myself by the length of my hairs and try to go off there to build that tail and that little arch again always looking at yourself in the mirror straight on so you can see i do like to set it a little bit more with the give me brow gel which really, really holds. Then for the little leopard print, animal print, what you want to call it, I am taking the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liner. And what I'm doing here is basically like tiny little C's. Pretty close together, but not like connected, you know? So as you can see, I kind of guide myself by one, looking at my other eye, seeing how many I had over there and keeping my eye open so you can see that you don't want to be in the folds of your eye because that way when you open your eye, it's going to it's gonna be lost. For the glitter, I am taking this glitter liner by Beauty Bay. And again, this is not sped up. This, when you pull out the wand here, it does have a lot of product, which I love. It's like a gold silver. It's super pretty. So I thought it was going to be perfect. So basically I'm filling it in between those two little C's that I made together. I did eventually go back and retouch the black just so it could be a little bit more defined and just darker because I really didn't use that much eyeshadow and obviously I did it because I wanted it to be somewhat simple and you can use any glitter here but a glitter liner is just easier that way you don't have to worry about glue and then tapping it on then I'm taking the black from the Alyssa Edwards palette and kind of creating a little liner I did go in and intensify it with the liquid one but I wanted to show you that you can also do it this way with just eyeshadow to just define your lower your lash line then i did take the norvina caked liners this is a water activated product and i just did it above it not too much in the inner corner and not all the way out to the tail for lashes i am taking these by sonia dora lashes in the style gno which i find super pretty then for face i'm taking fenty beauty primer which i really really like and i've been liking to use a duo fiber brush to really push that product into the skin as you can see i do have some redness in the middle of my face then this is the foundation it is a matte foundation i don't find it to be super full coverage super matte and i feel like this shade just really evens out my skin tone it's not too heavy i don't do a lot of foundation on my forehead i concentrate more in the center of my face really for concealer this is too faced 
born this way. I cannot finish this and I use it all the time. It lasts so much. There's a ton of product in here. It's a really, really nice concealer. I do use the color light beige. I also have the foundation in the matte version and I really, really like that foundation as well. Then for cream bronzer, I just wanted to use some of my Fenty products. This is a B Bella angled contour brush and I love it for this. I love it for creams and I love the shape of this brush, the angle of this brush. And when it comes to a cream product, you can set it, which I will be doing. Um, I also have the blush and again with another duo fiber just because it's a creamy product in case you think you're gonna overdo it. But with this color, I kind of just kept building it up to the intensity that I wanted and kind of pulling it up to my temples a little bit. If you've noticed, I haven't yet set my under eyes and that's because um, I go in with shadow first for the lower lash line and that kind of sets that area versus doing powder and then powder shadow on top. This is the Jeffree Star beige powder. I did spill some, so I have it in this little container here. Same sponge, other side, tapping that under and then dusting it lightly away. Then to set that, I am going in with my Sigma palettes. This is the Sculpt palette, which has six different shades. Really, really nice for bronzing up the skin. This is the blush one. Again, six different colors. Really, really nice. I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush just to lightly set that, not really to add so much more color. This is the... I don't know what highlighter this is. All the products will be linked down below, but this is the Sigma highlighter brush. You guys have seen this plenty of times. This is like my favorite highlighting brush. I always use it. Then for mascara, this is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. If you've seen any of my videos over on my Instagram, you know this is the mascara that has been my go-to lately. I did go in with a little bit more liner in the waterline and then taking the Fenty liquid lipstick now this liquid lipstick i really really love i love the color but in my opinion i find that when i use the fenty liquid lipsticks i should line my lips just because it tends to feather out just a tad but again that's personal preference the applicator alone is really nice i have a hard time doing my lips so it takes a really long time I do overdraw my lips just a little bit, as you can see here, just so they look a little bit more symmetrical. I don't know, but that's just what I do. Then I went ahead and set my face with the dewy mist and using my Batty Beat Lashes fan, which I absolutely love. And this is just a little bit of a close up of this look. Not too crazy, not too difficult, a bold brown lip. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.